Yeah, thanks. Hi, Dean. Hi, Jack. Um, Dean, can you just give us your thoughts on the game? Yeah, firstly, you know, really high quality game. Um, happy with some of the improvements that we made from last week. Um, our offense was better. We screened a lot better and moved the basketball. And I thought, you know, that was in a pretty good place at halftime. Um, thought the length of our defensive possessions that were really quality was longer. Um, but was spoiled at different times by them making really tough shots or picking up an offensive rebound. Different things that we can still be much better at there. Um, and then, you know, good contributions from the group. Good, to, good to get Bubba into the rotation and and playing. And then, you know, real disappointment in the last five minutes that we weren't able to generate, you know, good enough looks down the stretch. Um, and, you know, part of that's them. You know, Cleveland is so elite at just blowing things up at different times that it's it's tough to, to, to run the stuff that you want to run. Um, but offensively for them, you know, down the stretch, you know, did we stay with the coverage that we said we were going to live with too long with Rath and Mays? Um, you know, you you got you to live with something sometimes. And, um, you know, he made tough contested twos at a, at a really high percentage and then he makes two you know a crazy three on the shot clock and a, a three end of quarter as well the two threes that he makes but no he was tough and you know and, and Cleveland both of those two are playing at a, a really elite level right now. Can you talk a little bit more about that sort of coverage in Rathar I mean I guess you, you kind of like you said live with him making him taking those sort of long twos and, and mid-range twos but he just he just made everything didn't he yeah he did you know and obviously the threat of whether it's do up in the on ball that you know can stretch you out and shoot the three if you commit two guys to him or a, or a sam frolling getting downhill um if you commit two guys to him so um you know it's 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 something that we'll work on but you know we back shaley and Udai Bubba and the guys that guarded him to, to make it really tough and um, yeah maybe we we got to change the scout and, and and go a different way with it because he yeah, he was he was too good for it and I guess that was the part of you know them tonight they they the individual talent allowed them to to make really tough contested shots and um, you know we're a team that. You know, needs to really use each other to get um, you know better shots as well. So um, yeah, we had some people that were sick all week and different things, but no excuses. Good game. They closed out better than us. And you talk about um, needing everyone to sort of use each other, but um, the man next to you was um, came out ultra aggressive in the first quarter. Yeah, yeah I thought it was a um, you know a good um, elevation in his performance. Uh, tonight, just with that, you know, I didn't think he he went into the game with too many questions about you know what he needed to do. I thought there was good clarity about what we wanted from him, and there was a good message about him being aggressive, whether that be at the rim or, or shooting the three. And um, yeah, made made pretty good decisions. Um, but yeah, <laughs> tough one on an air ball. <laughs> put back from Harry Froling, you know, if that gets any part of the rim, we're in such good position to, to go get a rebound down the stretch, but uh, things like that happen. I was going to ask Jack about that. I mean, you, you had a really strong night, a bit, bit of a bounce back game, I guess, from last week, and, and then, you know, I saw you walk away with your sort of head in the hands after that, after what happened at the end. Can you sort of talk about the, the feelings there? No, I mean, I just couldn't believe it didn't hit the rim. Um, from where I was standing, it looked like it was going to hit it, and I felt like I had pretty good position to get it off and had Harry on the baseline side, but it just flew right into his lap, pretty much. But, you know, that's just how the game goes. I've got to be better in that situation. It's still just making him, you know, not be able to get a... have an impact on that play. Um, but, yeah, you know, this, this loss obviously hurt for us. You know, we wanted to come in today and make a point, especially after last week, defend our home floor and... Um, you know, we had the chance to win some tonight with the line, with the life changer cup. Um, so, you know, we're disappointed that we just didn't get the job done. Um, but, you know, it's a quick turnaround. We got Perth on Monday. Um, so as much as this, this loss sucks, you know, we need to flush it and, and be good at moving on to the next play.
Ian talked about that clarity of role. Did you, like, through the week, did you sort of try and sort of strip it back and just, you know, when you open from three, take that three, try and get on the rim, those sorts of things? Yeah, I mean, just tried not to overcomplicate it. Um, you know, I definitely find myself overthinking um, a fair bit of the time, and that's definitely not good for me. Um, I feel like I'm at my best when I'm playing off instincts and, and just playing free. Um, so I feel like I did a better job of that tonight. But, um, you know, there were still some areas where I could have been a lot better um, on both sides of the floor and in helping us get this win. So, yeah, there are things that, um, you know, definitely to learn from from this game and hopefully can improve on that moving forward. Dean, can you talk about the two unsportsmanlike on fouls, uh, unsportsmanlike fouls on Taylor, um, particularly the second one? It looked like, or from from where I stayed, it looked like he was sort of trying to brace himself for falling. Yeah, the, the first one, D Trans. I'm not sure. I thought he made a play at the ball. Obviously, he might have. They, re, yeah, I'm not sure what happened on that one. I'll have to view that one back. Second one, yeah, you know, yeah, I just thought he got caught jumping in the air and needed to protect himself to be able to land and if that means to, to protect himself he needed to you know grab the guy below him I just feel like there's yeah a common sense kind of element to that one that do you just let him fall on his head so um, to avoid the unsportsmanlike but I don't know you know that's the rules you know they stuck to the rules and that's what it said if you you know make it a, a a play that's in an aggressive nature like that, it's an unsportsmanlike, so, you know, hopefully he's he's doing all right and um, be ready to go for, for Perth, but we'll see. It, it looked pretty nasty, like, it, like he stayed down for a while and then limped off pretty gingerly. Do, do you know what he's hurt? Is it his back or his tailbone or...? Yeah, I haven't had a report yet, so we'll, we'll follow up that one pretty soon and, uh, and see where he's at. Jack, Jack t- touched on the Wildcats Monday about sort of flushing it. Can you just talk about that? You know, it's a bit of an ultimate test off a short prep, isn't it? Yeah, but I mean, that's that's how the season is. You know, we've got a big week coming up. Um, you know, it's good. You know, coming off a loss, we have an opportunity right away to, to get back on the winners list and um, a good test for us. You know, this last quarter of the season heading into finals, you know, this is how final series are going to be and we've got to be good at. You know, if we drop a game, moving on to the next play um, with travel as well. So this will be a great test for our group and a, and a great opportunity for us to, you know, build and be better and move towards a team that we know we can be um, come finals time. Um, so, yes, yeah, just super excited for the opportunity to, to play in Perth on Monday. Go ahead, Josh. Uh, Coach, just uh, one question from me. Uh, uh, Delhi only had uh, 18 minutes tonight. Was that uh, plan? Was managing his load, or is he carrying an injury? Uh, was there an issue there with Delhi at all? No, he had, he had gastro all week, so um, you know, just wanted to, you know, yeah, I just didn't think and obviously the he's still coming off that ankle injury that he did two games ago so he had a couple of things and um, yeah tried to play him in shorter minutes and um, yeah I thought Shea was going pretty well for the most part of it as well so used him a little bit more. Thank you. Kane, go ahead. The top three for you die Baba's return for Melbourne. Can you repeat the question? So, so you died, Baba, to return to Melbourne United after a long, long time? Yeah, it's great to have Baba back. Um, you know, he hasn't played a game of basketball since, you know, late November. Uh, he was so excited uh, just to be back in the uniform and back playing basketball and, um, you know, He'll, he'll be much better for the run. We wanted we had a, a number that we wanted to get him to tonight with Caleb uh, going down. He went a fraction over that one tonight, but um, I thought he looked. I thought his his wind looked pretty good, and I thought his ability to slot straight back into our um, the way that we play um, was was you know pretty seamless as well. You know, I took him out. The end there was a special situation that you know we, we hadn't gone through with him. So. You know, he's just going to pick up um, a number of those things as we go along. So talking about for the Wildcats game on Monday. Yeah. Um, you know, the only time that we get a chance to go to Perth this year, we've, we're, they beat us here and, and we got a win over here. So it's, we go over there one all and um, 
you know, just like this this game here, it's a you know a series deciding game against the team on their home floor. It's going to be um, at this kind of level that we play that tonight, and you know, we just got to find a way to make sure that we we close out the game better.